Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. <clears throat> Somebody sent me these two, basically, bitmaps, and they want to do this. Well, the first of all, and they're trying to follow one of my videos, first of all, you can't do this to a bitmap. You've got to convert it to a vector file, and he actually showed me kind of what he wants to do. I want a space between the image. So if I understand him right, he wants this right here. So, and so you can't, and for the one I'm doing it for, I, I made it quite a bit smaller. If this is what you want, we're going to do it. This is a bitmap. I've made it small, not terribly small. I'm going to go to trace bitmap, outline trace clip art, and then I'm going to check on group by color and, and say, okay, takes it just a second to do it. <clears throat> It's already almost there, it's done it. I'm gonna move it out of the way. I'm gonna bring in my yellow box and you can see some white. So, but since we grouped it by color, I can grab it, go up to object, group and ungroup it and just grab one of the whites and then hit delete and I have a pretty good vector Mexican Eagle, I think is what he called it. So this should still all be grouped together, and it is, so we're just going to set that aside. The text would almost be better if you started off with a text that you pick, but I'm not going to look for that text. <clears throat> so and it traced pretty good, which is unusual for text, but it's just straight lines. Outline trace, clip art, and once again, group by color. Takes just a second. Almost done. As soon as it's done, you hit OK. And you have that. But see the white? So now if we go to effects, or excuse me, object, or uh, group and ungroup it, and grab just some of the white, and we've taken all the white away. So that is our, that is our uh, vector of this. Now, to make this work, here, that's the old one. Here's my new one. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it red uh, just to make it a little bit better. <clears throat> this is a two-line product. So you you can and you really cannot um, do this, but I mean, you can't contour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a rectangle. I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool, fit on any color. I'm going to fill it in. I'm going to nudge it over. And I'm going to fill that in, and that gives me my letters. Right click, out cl right, cl right click, no fill, left click, no fill, and then black outline. So right click, or excuse me, left click, right click. So we have the outline now, and we can go to effects and contour. You could set this on anything. We want to use square corners because we don't have any rounded corners, and we're going to hit apply. That's our contour. Now, I'm pretty sure I have not moved anything. I have nudged things. So I'm going to put this inside there. And, well, really and truly, I need to move this over there too and try to group that together and try to get it more about maybe where you'd want it. And then we could take the black one and nudge it out of the way. <clears throat> well, there's our contour we can take the black now and nudge it out of the way so now what i'm going to do this contour is outside this part and i'm going to take the smart fill tool and fill in that contour now i'm going to nudge it over i am going to okay the black is on the top so it's on fr the front of the layer i'm going to go back minus front and it took away that now also we need this part of it um, cause that did not contour. Um, let's see how we're going to get that. I got it while I go. Um, tell you what, let me left click, right click and let me uh, grab this totally. Now that's not our contour. That's our shape or our color. So I'm going to left click, right click, and I'm going to I really want to get rid of that center part. I just want the outer. Well, no, let's try it. 
So we cut and see it's a little bit off, a little bit funny. I don't think it's going to matter in this picture. See, this A isn't perfect. So we could get rid of some of these nodes. And right click and turn this into a line and make it more perfect. And then we can get rid of some more of these nodes. It's still a little bit funky, but it should contour now a little better. So we're going to grab it with the pick tool and contour. It's a little bit off, but big deal. Go up to object, break contour apart. I'm going to just do the out, the outer side. So I'm going to get my smart fill tool and fill that in. And then once again, I can grab it all and go back minus front and it takes that away. Now we can take our smart fill tool and fill in our logo and put it up. And you can see that the logo has a white, it's not really white, it's transparent, it's not there. Uh, edge, border, around the text to kind of make it pop out, as you can see. Now I didn't put the black in there. Um, smart fill tool. And do that. And whoop. There you go. I'm guessing that's what he wanted. If he's if it isn't, he'll he'll email me back and tell me that's not what I wanted. <clears throat> that's pretty cool. The only thing I don't like, it takes away from the eagle. Can't really tell what it is, but that's pretty close to the way he had it in his drawing. And um you know, that's just going to take away from the eagle. You know, the eagle's head is still inside there. And you could move that around. You can't now, but you could back up and start over. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.